Hi guys, I'm Takara. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be bringing you guys a wash day routine from start to finish using products by Trelux. They did send me over their full line and I've been trying different combinations of the products to see which products I liked best. And I can honestly say that I liked all their products for different reasons. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my faves from the line and giving you a review on those products. This video is sponsored by Trelux, but as always, you guys can expect my honest review and my honest opinion on anything that I bring to you. So if you guys are interested in seeing my faves from their line and hear my thoughts on the products, then just keep watching. All right, guys, we're going to jump right in. The first product I'm going to be using is the Curl Renew and Restore Gentle Cleansing Rinse by Trelux. And it is sulfate free. It's for all curl types and it is color safe. It says it's supposed to gently cleanse, it detangles, and replenishes moisture for healthy, resilient curls. The key ingredients in this product are coconut milk and slippery elm extract, and the active botanical ingredients are olive squalane, which is an all natural moisturizer, and Trilux is 360 degree curls complex with tomato extract and amino acids, and this is supposed to hydrate, strengthen, and define the hair. So Trelux's products are created with natural and botanical ingredients and each one of the products lists both the key ingredients in the products and the active botanical ingredients in the products. So for this rinse, as you guys saw, the consistency of it was kind of like a serum in my opinion. The first time I used it, I thought it was a co-wash for a second because that's just how moisturizing this product felt in my hair. Like, yes, it lathers, as you guys can see, and it had a gentle lather. But I just couldn't like believe that a shampoo could be as moisturizing as this product was. It surely will not leave your hair feeling stripped by any means. Like I said, it leaves your hair feeling moisturized. A little bit of this product goes a long way and that can be said about all the products that I've tried by Trelux. As far as the smell is concerned, it's more of a fresh scent in my opinion, but it does not linger in the hair. But y'all, I really thoroughly enjoyed this shampoo. And if I had to pick a favorite product out of all the Trelux products I tried, I would probably say that the shampoo was my favorite product and that's saying a lot because I'm not even like, you know, super big on shampoos, but this shampoo was able to cleanse my hair and scalp while also providing my hair with moisture. And as you guys will see, after I use the shampoo, I just went straight in with the leave-in conditioner. I did not deep condition because this shampoo leaves my hair feeling moisturized. So yeah, I would definitely say that this shampoo leaves your hair feeling somewhat like how a co-wash would leave your hair feeling because after you co-wash, you know your hair feels moisturized. So if you need something that's a little more cleansing than a co-wash, but that will still leave your hair feeling moisturized, I think this will be a good option. So here's my hair after cleansing. It is nice, soft, moisturized, and defined. And as I said earlier, I'm just gonna go right into applying my leave-in conditioner after this step. All right, guys, the next product I'm going in with is the Untie the Knot Nourishing Leave-In Conditioner by Trilux. And it is for a wavy, curly, and coily hair and it's supposed to detangle, nourish, and replenish moisture for lively curls. The key ingredients in this product are coconut milk, slippery elm extract, and broccoli seed oil. And the active botanical ingredients in this product are the same as in the Curl Renew and Restore. It's the olive squalane and the 360 degree curls complex. So it is recommended to apply these stylers on soaking wet hair. As you guys saw, this product has a pretty lotion-y consistency. Upon first applying the leave-in conditioner to my hair, I could tell that it was lightweight and that it had a lot of slip, but I was a little nervous because it didn't seem like it was doing much in the moisture department for me immediately. But as I worked the product in and it had time to further absorb into my hair, I could tell that it was definitely moisturizing and even though this product is lightweight, it packs in the moisture. It provided me with a long lasting moisture. Like my hair literally was moisturized throughout the entirety of my wash and go. And as with the shampoo, a little bit of this product goes a long way. 
and also the smell of this oh my god it smells so good it smells like sweet cinnamon to me and the smell definitely does linger and it lingers for days so that is something to keep in mind but I didn't mind it because I really enjoyed the smell for my styler I'm going in with the high definition curl enhancer styling gel by Trey Lux and it is for long lasting defined curls and it says it provides long lasting curl definition, luminous shine, and moisture balance. The key ingredients in this product are avocado, honey, and sage extract. And the active botanical ingredients in this product are the 360 degree curls complex and color safe curls complex with soybean extract. As you guys just saw, the gel has a jelly-like consistency and I found that it had loads of slip as well on top of the nourishing leave-in conditioner. So as I stated earlier, the recommended application for applying the leave-in and styling products is to apply them on soaking wet hair. With this product, you do wanna make sure your hair is soaking wet because less is definitely more with this product. Like I said with the previous products, a little bit of this product also goes a long way and it is actually best for you to use a little bit of this product. The first time I used this product, I did not work it in as much as I should have. I had left like globs of product toward my root area and I did have a bit of residue in those areas where I left like globs of the product, but that was user error when you're using this product you want to make sure that you apply it as much as you need but you want to make sure you're working it in as you're applying it i did not have any flakes the first time the only thing i had was that residue towards the root area of my hair but the next time i used it i was able to avoid that by making sure that i worked the product all the way in and i think it's a really good gel so um like i said you don't need much of it my curls looked amazing once they were dry like it says it provided me with long lasting defiant curls. It gave me shine and I'm guessing it probably did help with the moisture of the leave-in conditioner in this particular wash and go because like I said, my moisture did last the entire wash and go. So um, I really enjoyed this product as well. As far as the smell of this product is concerned, it smells so good to me. It has like a floral perfumey scent to me and I don't even like floral scents like that but this smells really good to me just really nice and fresh but I didn't smell this in my hair when my hair was dry the only thing I smelled in my hair once my hair was dry was the leave-in conditioner and I told you guys it smelled like cinnamon so my hair smelled like cinnamon <laughs> So here's my hair about 95% dry. This is before I stretch my hair. You guys know I like to show you that because I know some of you guys probably don't stretch your hair. So this is what my hair was looking like before stretching it. As you guys can see, it's shiny, it's super defined. I have movement. My hair did dry with a cast. Um, I feel like since I use my hooded dryer now to dry my hair, my hair pretty much always dries with a cast at this point, but it did dry with a cast, but it wasn't like a hard cast or anything. I feel like this gel provides more of a medium hold, in my opinion. Um, it did last me throughout the entire wash and go, as I said, but it wasn't like a super firm hold that um, it gave my hair. So here are my day one results after stretching it. I did break the cast a little bit and my hair was super soft and a lightweight. Um, as I said before, my hair was very moisturized at this point and the moisture lasted throughout the week. But I was really happy with my results using these products and I will definitely be using them again. So I am going to be showing you guys my day three and my day four results as well so you can see how the wash and go progressed throughout the week. Now some of you guys may be thinking that these products are expensive and depending on your budget I could definitely see that. But you have to keep in mind that these products are made with natural ingredients and like I said earlier a little bit of these products do go a long way. Um, I've used the Curl Renew and Restore Cleansing Rinse and the untied a knot nourishing leave-in conditioner about three or four times each and I still have half of the container left for each one of those and I've used the high definition curl enhancing styling gel twice and I still have about two-thirds of the container left so like I said a little bit of their products do go a long way and also through their product sales Trilux does fund health wellness and education initiatives for at-risk girls in low-income communities so they are giving back 
with these sales of their products. So if you do choose to purchase some of their products, it is going towards a good cause. So yeah, if you guys are interested in trying any of their products, I do recommend that you do so. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those down in the comment section as usual. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.